All right, good evening, guys. Sorry for the late start. It is time for boot camp. So, um, as always, have water on hand. Play some music for yourself in the background so you have a nice, clear beat to work out to if you need anything. For your floor work, be sure to have that towel, that yoga mat nearby. Um, some disclaimers before the beginning of class. I personally might be modifying quite a bit throughout class today. I will still encourage you to push yourself, to challenge yourself, not to injure yourself, of course. And so for me personally, I've been going through a lot of body aches and pains that have been kind of hard to work with seeing a chiropractor tomorrow. Always be sure to see a doctor if you're feeling out of sorts. But for me personally, like I said, I'm going to modify quite a bit of stuff that involves like upper back and body and chest work today, but it is always leg day. So for our warm up today, we are going to be doing 30 second intervals. We're going to go through four different exercises and we're going to do them three times around. We're keeping it really simple. We're going to do some squats. We're going to do some twists and reach, making sure we get that core work going. We're going to do some high knees and we're going to do some plank to pike. So find some space in your zone, find your center. That camera is too low. And we will get on started. Sync up your watch if you've got one, and we'll get on moving. Ah, oh, and of course, today my music chooses not to work for me. But oh well. All right, in 10 seconds, we're gonna get started with our squats. So get this feet about shoulder width to hip width apart. Roll those shoulders back, chest up. Let's go, knees over the toes. 30 seconds, down and up. Keep those knees over those toes. So the thing about squats, you can have the knees going past the toes just as long as they're in line with the toes. All right, about 10 seconds, we're gonna switch that up. Three, two, one, let's twist, we're gonna reach. The point of this one is to help warm up that core, but also to give that upper back and those arms a chance to stretch. So let's keep it moving. All right, in 10 seconds, wrist switch it up. All right, in three, two, one, let's get some high knees in. You can walk it or you can jog it. Aim to get those knees to drive up to about 90 degrees. Keep it nice and light. We're just warming up. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna bring it to the floor and we're gonna go from a plank position to a pike or downward dog. So walk it out. I'm in my plank, bring it up to pike. You want to keep that booty low when you go to plank and push back in those heels when you go to pike. Good work. All right, walk those hands back. Get into that squat position. Let's go. Down and up. Nice job, keep it going. Make sure when you get to the top, you're squeezing those glutes, squeezing that core. And when you squat down, you have a nice flat back. We don't want to arch the low back. Three, two, one, twist and reach. Turn that head and those shoulders with each twist. Release that back foot just as though we would if we were doing something like kickboxing. In kickboxing, they do a lot of hips and a lot of core to get those punches in. 10 seconds. All right, switching it to high knees. Two, one, let's go. Nice work.
All right, keep it going. All right, in 10, we're gonna switch it up. All right, straight legs, walk it out. Plank to plank. If you have trouble with this one, after we've tried it for the first round, you can hold in either plank or pike. All right, 10 seconds. All right, walk it back. Squat it out, last round of squats. Down it up. Nice work. All right, we're gonna switch it up in less than 10 seconds. We got a twist and reach. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work, keep it going. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to high knees. Three, two, one, bring them up. Drive those knees up to that 90 degrees, whether you're walking it or jogging it. You can also use those hands as a guide. Bend them at a 90 degree angle up the elbow. Bring those knees or those thighs up to the hands. All right, straight legs, walk it out. Plank to pike, last round. Good work. All right, 10 more seconds. Three, two, walk it back. All right, nice warm up. Let's review what our workout's gonna be. Maybe try the music one more time. Not happening. It's so sad, I love playing the music in the background for myself, helps me focus. Not working today, all right. So for our workout, we are gonna be doing pyramids. The way that these pyramids are gonna work, we are going to have, let's bring that up a little. We're gonna have two different exercises that we're gonna work on for six minutes, not including rest time. We're gonna go 20, 30, 40, 30, 20. So, and then we're gonna go back up the pyramid again 20, 30, 40, 30, 20. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna alternate between those two exercises so that each one has an opportunity to be a 20 and a 40 in the pyramid, and each has an opportunity to be that 30 seconds in the pyramid. We are going to rest for 10 seconds in between each. At the end of the two pyramids that we climb, we'll have a one minute rest. Now, don't worry, that might sound like it's a lot of work, but we are gonna have an opportunity to also modify things as we go along. And we all, you'll be alternating between those exercises. You're gonna be getting quite a bit of diversity moving. So let's go over our first round real quick. We're gonna go from a lunge back to a high knee. So we're gonna lunge back, bring that knee up. We're gonna start this for 20 seconds. We are gonna alternate legs as we go through it because it will equivalent to the same time per leg. We're gonna alternate this movement with squat pulses. So stay down and pulse in a squat for the whole time. All right, nice and simple. We're still warming that body up a little bit. So keep it light, don't push yourself till you're ready. All right, now let's get that timer pulled up. I have a, two different timers, one for warm-ups, one for not warm-ups. <laughs> 
And so in the meantime, jog it out. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Right leg back and up. You wanna get into a nice deep lunge, drive that knee up. If you wanna take this a little higher, add a jump. I am not ready to do that yet, we'll warm up. Now take a rest, that was 20 seconds already. Get those feet shoulder width apart, get ready, three, Two, one, let's squat pulls for 30 seconds. Nice work. Like I said, we're keeping it light for this first set. All right, keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Almost there. All right, three. Two, one, and rest. Left leg back is going in our next set. So prepare. We're gonna get going in three, two, one, let's go. Bring that knee all the way up. Come on. Keeping it low, bringing it high. Make sure as you lunge down, you're not arching your low back, so you're pushing that pelvis forward so that you have a nice straight back. Knees over the toes. Keep it going. Good. Two, one, and rest. That's the height of the pyramid. Now we're gonna go back to the squats, get in that position, shoulders roll back. Three, two, one, let's pulse it. Good work. Good, good. Come on, hold it there. We got this. Keep going, keep going, come on. Almost there. Two, one, and rest. Good job. We're going back to that right leg back. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. 20 seconds. Good work, good work, come on. Come on, push. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're going to 20 seconds at the bottom of the pyramid. We got a squat pulse. Get ready now. Three, two, one, let's go. We're working that, working those legs, working those glutes. Nice job. Come on, hold it. Almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, left leg back again. Whew. We got this. Two, one, let's go. Down and up. Good work. Keep pushing it. Like I said, if you want to add that little jump, Go for it. For me, I'm going to keep it here. Thirty seconds. Come on. Two, one, rest. All right, we're at the top of that pyramid again. We've got squat pulses. So get those feet ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulse it out. Good work. Come on. Hold it here. Don't come up. Hold it down. Almost there. Come on. 
You can do this. We're in it together. Throughout the whole workout, we are in it together. Come on. Three, two, one, bring it up. Good job. All right, we've got that. Right leg back, one more time. Kickstand it, get ready. Two, one, let's go. Down and up. Knees over the toes. Down and up. Good work. At this point, if we were not feeling warm at the end of the warm up, we should be now. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we got another pulse coming up. Feet, shoulder width, hip width apart. Last one. Two, one, let's go. Just 20 seconds, we got this. If you're like me, sometimes I like to jam a little with my squat pulses. If I got some music going in the background, helps distract me. Two, one, nice job. All right, we got one minute of rest. Next round, we are gonna alternate between plank to pike, which we did in our warm up. A modification you can do for this on the floor is on your knees, toes on the floor for good form. From here, you'll be in your regular plank position and you're gonna press back into a downward dog position, forward and downward dog. Alternatively, you can rock back and forth in your plank with your feet. This alternates with a forearm plank and we just hold it for the amount of time. So, find yourselves on the floor. We are getting started in 14 seconds. All right, find your center, get ready. Two, one, let's go. Make sure that when you are in your plank and into your pipe, you are gazing out at about a floorboard's height from the floor. You don't want to look too high up, too far down, and rest. All right, so make sure that neck's not going up or down. We want nice and neutral. Let's get started in two, one, and hold. 30 seconds. Forearm planks. One of my favorites. Keep that booty down. Engage the tummy muscles. Nice deep core muscles. Good work. Keep that neutral neck. Three. Two, one, and rest. All right, we're going back to plank to pike. Shake it out, prepare. Two, one, let's go. Neutral neck. Come on. Let's go, come on. Get that booty all the way down once you get to plank. Keep it going. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, shake it out a little. Let's prepare for those forearm planks. Three, two, one, let's go. We got this, 30 seconds. Remember, if it becomes unbearable, you can drop those knees down, but keep your plank. Woo! I feel it, I feel it, y'all. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! We got 20 seconds next. 
shake it out. Plank to pike. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep that neck nice and neutral even when you push back to pike. Three, two, one, and rest. We've got another forearm plank. 20 seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Good work. Come on. Hold. Almost there. Three, two, one, release. Woo! All right, plank to pike, 30 seconds. We're already on that second pyramid. Three, two, one, let's go. Got it up. Come on. Nice, controlled movements. You can go fast or slow, whatever works the body best. This is your time, your workout. Two, one, and rest. Nice work. We got another forearm plank coming up. Three, two, one, and hold. Woo! This is gonna be our tough one. We're at that second 40 second mark. We can do it. Make sure you breathe, keep that neutral neck. Booty down. Good work. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. That's a tough one. All right, plank to pike. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Woo! Nice job, push through, come on. I know the shoulders feel it, but we can do it. Three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more in this set. 20 second forearm plank. We get up this. Two, one, hold. Good job, almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. I feel that one, I'm telling you. Nice work. All right. Give me just a second here. All right. So real quick, our next set, we're gonna go between curtsy squats. So we're gonna pulse it, just like this, just like those regular squats. We're gonna bring it back, we're gonna pulse it. We are gonna alternate the legs, just like we did when we went back and brought it up, because we'll get an equal time on each side. And we're gonna alternate this with squat jack taps. So you're gonna squat down and reach down for the floor. If you find yourself bending over, chest curling in, just reach down as far as you can, then bring it up. All right, if you have trouble with this, you can always step it out and step it out. All right, all right. We're gonna get started in about 24 seconds. 
a little bit of a longer rest on this one. But don't worry, we're gonna catch up. All right, we're gonna step that right leg back. We want those feet pointing forward or just slightly turned up. And let's start pulsing it in. Three, two, one. You want those hips forward, straight back. Hold it here, hold it down. Nice job. Three, two, one, bring it up. All right, we're gonna do those squat jack taps. So start with those feet together, shoulders roll back. Three, two, one, let's get it. Down and up. Knees over the toes, let's go. Squeezing at the top. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Come on. We got some cardio in, let's go. Two, one, and rest, nice job. All right, we're gonna step back, left leg. Three, two, one, let's pulse it. Knees over the toes. Get that weight evenly distributed. You want your weight to be between those two legs so each leg is carrying equal amount of weight. Whew. We start to feel it. Almost there, come on. Push. Stay here. Three, two, one. All right, tap it out. Bring those feet center. We got squat jack tats again. Two, one, let's go. Down and up. Come on, it's only 30 seconds, you got this. Almost there, come on. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we get to step that right leg back again. Prepare yourself. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulse, pulse and hold. Nice work, come on. Three, two, one, bring it up. All right, 20 seconds of squat jack taps next. Start that second pyramid. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Come on, keep a flat back. Don't arch it. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work. Left leg's going back this time. Prepare. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy and pulse. All right, all right. We got this. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're at that 40 second mark. Squat jack taps. Find your center. Three, two, one, let's go. We got this, come on. Squeeze at the top, let's go. Three, 
three. Oh, keep going. Three, two, one, rest. I got some music on finally. It tricked me. Had a pause. All right. Right leg back. Let's go. Pulse. Nice work. Good job, good job, come on. Hold it. We got this. Let's work. Three, two, one, up. All right, one more. Squat jack taps. Check it out. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on. Push. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next round, push-ups. Everyone knows what a push-up is. But just to reiterate, if you're on your knees, toes on the floor, for good form, making sure booty's down in a nice flat line with the back, even when you're up, pushing it down and up. We're alternating this with a hollow hold. So for the hollow hold, you want your entire back touching the floor, including that low back. So we're gonna have legs out, arms out, head off the floor. If you find your lower back coming off the floor, reset, bring the knees up, and lower until you can no longer keep that back on the floor. So everything's on the floor this time. Whew. Let's get ready. We got three, two, one, push-ups. Let's go. I am modifying my push-ups for today, yes. Like I said, anything upper body, I gotta modify just a little today. Three, two, one, and rest. Roll it onto your back. Get ready. Three, two, one, hold. Breathe. If you have to reset, it's okay. You might have to bring those legs in and bring them out again. Two, one, rest. Oh, that's a toughie. Under that belly. Getting ready for those push ups. Two, one, let's go. When you're doing your push ups, also pull in on that tummy to help support the back, the pelvis, and those deep core muscles. This is the long one. We got it though. Good work. Make sure that that gaze is not too high or too low. Take a floorboard or something around that level to stare at. Nice work. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Let's roll it onto that back. Another 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Good work. Hold, hold, almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, roll it over. We got another set of push-ups. 
three, two, one, let's go. Only 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, on our backs, hollow holds. Three, two, one, go. Almost there. Two, one, rest. Under that belly again. More push ups. Nice work, guys. Let's keep it going. Two, one, down and up. Good job. Let's go. We got this. 30 seconds. If we can do 40, we can do 30. Three, two, one, rest. All right, here's our hard one. 40 second hollow hold. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe. Press that back into the floor. Come on. If you need to, reset it and lower. Almost there. Come on. Three, two, one, done. All right, last set of push ups. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Good work. We got this, come on, come on. Push through, push through. Three, two, one, take a rest. Last hollow hold, roll it over. Three, two, one, let's go. Almost there. Hold, two, one, and done. Whew. Check it out. Nice work. If you need to, grab some water. We've got squat thrusts and snow angels next. So a squat thrust is your typical burpee without a push-up. You've got your jump, which you can modify as a calf raise. Your squat to plank, which you can modify as a walk back, and then back your squat. When we get to snow angels, you are on the floor, feet off the ground, chest off the ground, arms in front, come back and forward. Neutral neck, not looking up or down. We're getting started in nine seconds. So make your way up off the floor. And let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Make yourself work. Challenge yourself. Three, two, one. Rest, bring it down. You're ready. Three, two, 
Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and controlled, come on. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, squat thrust. Bring it up. Let's go. Two, one, hit it. Good work, good work. Let's go, let's go. We can do this. This is the longest we have to do squat press, and then we're done with it. Three, two, one, done. Snow angels to the floor. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Come on, let's kill it. Three, two, one, done. Nice work. Bring it up. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on. Two, one, and on the floor. We got the snow angels. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe, come on. Three, Two, one, bring it up. All right, we're on those 30 second intervals. We can do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, come on. Raise the roof. Almost there. Three, two, one, done. All right, to the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, keep those arms and legs off the floor. Let's go. You got this, you got this. We're in it together. I know it burns. Good work. Come on, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Ah. Come on, two more, two more in this set. We got it. Three, two, one, let's kill it. Let's go. Come 
on, you're almost there. Push. Two, one, bring it to the floor. Last one in a set. Three, two, let's go. 20 seconds, we can do it. Push. Come on. Work. Two, one, and rest. One minute. All right, now, next one, we're staying on the floor. We have a plank foot tap. So it's kind of like a mountain climber, but you're going to tap your foot as it comes up. Your modification is a mountain climber. So if you can, bring that foot up to meet that hand, foot up to meet that hand. We're alternating this with a tabletop hold. So if you're on all fours, curl those toes with the knees, and just stay right there. It feels simple. Tell your upper back starts engaging, and you're like, whew, I got muscles. All right. We're getting started in 10. All right, foot taps. Bring it down. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep those hips steady. Take it slow if you need to. Remember, modification is just a plain old mountain climber, which is just driving these up through the center. Three, two, one, and hold. Down. All right, tabletop hold next. Get ready. Three, two, one, bring it up. Just like the forearm plank, I try to relax in this one. It's hard. Then I focus on my breathing and the music I got playing. We got this. Three, two, one, down. Whew. Shake it out. All right, we got those foot taps. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Tap it and tap it. You can speed this up if you want to. I'm taking it slow for now, just for my modification. Because I love doing these. I love doing them fast. Not today. Good work. Let's push. This is the longest we'll have to do this. And we can move through and move on. Whew. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice work. I'm dripping. Don't know about you. Hope you're on the same boat. Three, two, one, tabletop. Good work. Keep it going. Breathing. Gotta focus on breathing, right? Good work, we're almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, all right. We're at the bottom of our pyramid. Three, Two, one, let's go. Woo! Almost over. We got this. Come on. Push. Two, one, rest. All right, we're on our second pyramid. We got that tabletop hold. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Uh, 
Come on, engage that core. Focus on anything that does not hurt. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, all right, we got those taps coming. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Good work, good work. You ever notice how sometimes you slow something down and it becomes significantly harder? Oh my God. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Normally I do those fast. You feel it in the shoulders, but now I'm feeling it so much in that core. Three, two, one, let's hold. Good work. Come on, we can do this. Hold, you're almost there. Ah, come on. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're back to those taps. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Tap it. Come on, come on. Work those muscles, come on. Woo! I say it as much for me as I do for you. Hip burns. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got 20 seconds of work and then we're stretching it out. So come on, three, two, one. Hold for 20. That's it. Almost there. Breathe. Come on. We can do this together. Three, two, one. Done. You're done. Whew. Towel off, grab some water. Shake it out. We're going to stretch. You know, it goes to show you don't have to always do a lot of high cardio to get a solid calorie burn. I know for me, not including our stretching, I'm almost at 400 calories. It is ridiculous how much you can burn by working those muscles. All right, we're gonna take a deep breath in. I'm gonna fill the belly with air and hold it at the top. Ready? Exhale. Again. One more. All right, let's pull that arm across, right arm across the body. And back. We work the shoulders quite a bit, so we're going to stretch them out as well. And switch. Speaking of stretching, if you guys are interested, I have a strength and stretch class after this at 6.15. It is 45 minutes long. If you would like to do a couple more toning exercises, but stretch your body out, feel free to join in. Roll the shoulders back. Big shoulder rolls and big arm circles. And forward, smaller. Bring it up. All right, 
bring those feet wide, knees over the toes, shift it back and forth. Thank you for bearing with me towards the beginning of the workout today. I don't know what it is about boot camp days this week, but I seem to try and get things rolling and then something does not go the way I planned it to go. It throws me off the schedule just a little bit, but that's okay. We still got a solid workout in. All right, from here, straighten out those legs. You're gonna look between the legs towards the back of the room and relax, swaying side to side. All right, take that left hand to your right leg, stretch that right arm up towards the ceiling, turning that rib cage to the ceiling. Keep those legs straight. Now we're gonna switch. Right arm to the left leg, left arm and rib cage up. All right, wrap your arms around your legs, bend the knees slightly, straighten the legs out, hold on to your ankles, your shin, your calves, wherever you need to, to pull yourself down a little bit. Roll it up. All right, if you can, balance where you are. If not, grab a piece of wall, a chair, grab that right foot. You're going to squeeze the knees together, straighten the legs out, press the pelvis forward, and tuck the tummy in. You want that knee pointing down towards the floor as much as possible without it rocking in front of or behind your other knee. And switch. A little trick if you have trouble balancing. Some people find that it helps their equilibrium. They touch their nose, hold their ear. All right, from here, side lunge over the left. Thank you so much for joining me in class this evening, by the way. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, if you ever have feedback on how you feel like a class went, feel free to hit the like button during the video. Also, feel free to share some feedback in the live chat feed. You are also more than welcome to comment on any of the YouTube videos or shoot me a message or comment on Get Fit with Esther Leonardo on Facebook. I always ask for feedback because that gives me an idea of whether you guys are enjoying classes, you're getting something out of classes. It helps me be a better instructor, but also, and more importantly, helps me provide good content for you. I wanna make sure that it's always challenging, but realistic. All right, last little bit here. Loosen up that back. Take a gentle pull over to the left side. You're gonna stretch the right side of our neck by doing this. You kind of want to have the chin aiming up a little bit. A good way to think about it is the corner of your eyes trying to look directly above you at the ceiling. If you want a little extra stretch, put that arm behind. And pressing that shoulder down away from the neck. This shoulder, by the way. And switch. So again, pressing that shoulder down and away. Corner of the eye, trying to look up and above directly at the ceiling above you. A little extra, put that arm behind. All right, deep breath in, fill that belly with air. Exhale. Awesome job, thank you so much again for joining me. Um, if you are interested in doing the stretch class, if you give me just a hot second, I will post that link in the live chat feed and make it available to you. All the links for my classes are available on my Facebook page as well. So if you guys are interested in a class tomorrow, 10 a.m., I'm doing cardio kick, which is a kick boxing style type workout. And then I will also be doing hit training, which is high intensity interval training at 6 o'clock. These are both mountain times, so feel free to join me then. 
And here is that link. Thank you again. I hope you had a good time. Be healthy, be well. Hopefully see you again soon. Thanks so much.